Let's see what we got here. Corota SBO Finals 2009. Corota, this is a bad... Let me preface by saying this matchup is really awful. And a lot of people consider this to be the worst matchup in uh, third, third Strike. And that sounds kind of weird because Makoto is not top three character. Maybe she is. And uh, Kiyu is not a bottom three character. But um, Makoto's tools happen to work very well against Kiyu. She's good at exploiting him being in the corner. She can corner him immediately with no trouble. That's true for a lot of characters, just those two. Um, he can't taunt at all. He cannot taunt. Nearly every taunt setup he has, Makoto can super two on reaction. And even if she doesn't have the bar, she can EX dash punch. And even if she doesn't have that bar, she can usually get like a forward dash dash punch or something like that. Forward dash towards fierce. Literally, Makoto cannot be zoned. That's just one of the little quirks about her character. You cannot. Makoto can just get in your face in two seconds if you let her. And two seconds is actually a gross overstatement. She can get in your face in half of one second. Um, so it's ridiculously hard. It's not impossible to taunt. You can taunt after like um, a Super 2 connect. Or like... Uh, I literally can't think of anything else. A Super 1 connect. An anti-air dash punch I think you can taunt. Um, there's like a, a couple scenarios. A few. But not that many. Normally you can taunt after like a jump air to air fierce. But not in this matchup. Normally you can taunt after like a throw. But not in this matchup. Makoto just has a lot of fucking full screen presence. Plus Q's attacks interact very unfavorably with Makoto's. Like uh, she ducks a couple of his moves. That really sucks. Um, she's got a really cheap mix up on him in the corner. with. Uh, it's really difficult to stop her dive. Her axe kicks. So that's some things about this matchup. This matchup is usually considered an 8-2 and a pretty bad 8-2. Like an 8.5, 1.5. Crota, uh, this game, even even in the skill dif like in in the ridiculous tier difference, this game does still often come down to player skill since the ceiling is so high, and Crota is really good. Let's look at each individual moment. First of all, Crota is trying to get full screen in the vain hope that uh, this Makoto will let him do something. Crota and most Qs do not mind being in the corner. That little stand strong, that was nice. Caught the Karkus on reaction. That was just a bad Karkus. So that was that's one of his setups. And then she dashed in trying to do I don't know what. How's a car throw? These are super safe wake up options. I know jumping out doesn't look that safe. But it was like a block jump out or a parry jump out or something. Jump jab remains active for his entire jump. That was cute. He, I don't know if he had to spend that bar. I thought he could have just done two dash punches and killed her. Whatever, never give Makoto a second chance. That jump strong. He actually had a big setup there if he did a jump in, but he wasn't ready for it. Or he didn't think Makoto wouldn't be blocking. If it's a... Oh, okay. Didn't quick stand. This Makoto player trusted Kuroda too much to hit his shit. I haven't watched Kuroda play since like 2009. I know he still plays. This is so difficult right now. This is how Makoto... Makoto can just control the corner so fast. That was a whiff punish. It wasn't even a whiff punish, like the second and third hit whiffed, but it's still punished. It's weird, right? Cute little dash under. That fundamental mix-up. Kuroda's uh, got really good options to avoid guessing whenever possible. If you watch the way he plays, he dodges a lot of 50-50 scenarios. He doesn't dodge the 50-50s. It's impossible to dodge the 50-50s. But he avoids the setups that lead to the 50-50s a lot of the time. In situations where he only takes a little bit of damage. That was a nice reaction. You have to be ready to do that in a heartbeat. He whiffs the jab for the uh, timing. There's nothing else you can really do there. Might as well time it properly. He tried the parry jump in, but it was a... Uh, he thought that was going to be cancelled to dash punch. That's why he didn't pan uh, punish after the parry. Back strong has a nice hitbox. It still sucks if you get it parried. Parrying a jump in versus parrying a axe kick is often difficult. He could have got a dash punch there, I think. I don't know, juggles are weird in this game. Makoto's juggles are weird. See how early she could block after that dash in? Crota just hanging around full screen. <laughs> Crota actually, or Q actually has a couple frames where he can't be thrown when rising from his crouch to his stand. Very odd little bug that uh, some... Whoa, did he get it? I don't think that's a cancel. I think that's a link. I think you can link uh, crouch jab into super. And I think it's one frame. One of them, I don't remember what it is. Um... 
either his stand jab or his crouch jab cancels, but not the other one. And the other one is a one frame link at the super. But one frame links into supers are not a big deal in this game because there's a way to execute them that's very reliable. It is virtually impossible for Remy to stop Q from getting three taunts in this matchup. Apart from that, Remy wins it pretty clean. But you're going to be fighting a full health Q every time. Just the punishes to the punishes to Q taunting are just super low damage, and it's just it just pays for itself every single time. It is it is impossible. Yeah, okay, there it is. That was nice. He caught the combo out of it into the target combo because he couldn't he he could have had charge, but it would have been ridiculously difficult. So Q does a lot more damage in this matchup. And uh, just because of the way the health works. That was nice. That was a good reaction. That's one of the supers that goes through projectiles. Usually not an issue in this game because projectiles aren't that strong. Little Pope. Piero was trying too hard to go in. I don't blame him. You have to go in hard until he gets the taunts and then you have to zone like a motherfucker. You have to just play the full screen game the entire match. That he didn't get the taunt. If the screen doesn't shake, it doesn't count. He only has two taunts right now, not three. The screen shaking is the marker of the taunt working. Nope, 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 nope. Remy's punishes are unfortunately not so strong. I think against Q you can get the cold blue kick mid-screen. Q has a weird hurtbox. I don't think it's a punisher. Ooh, that was cool. Did you see that? I think that was it. I don't remember if it's in the process of crouching or in the process of standing from a crouch where you can't be thrown. Oh, he might have just been out of range. That looks a little funky. Can't tell. Nice parry. That's the full combo, yeah. That works on key mid-screen with no uh, dashing or anything. Q is the widest body in the game, and also one of the slowest fallers. That was nice. Ooh. Ooh! Cool! That was a nice jump jab. Instant air jump jab is an anti-air. If it gets parried, if you get parried on the way up, you can often attack again by the time you start falling. Getting parried uh, mid-air, it removes your chip guard, like if you attack mid-air, you lose your chip guard. Um, but it doesn't eat up your hit, it only eats up your hit for a little bit, and then you resume like a, a jumping state again. Do you get him? Nope. That's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt that much, so that's the problem. See, like, he's still winning by a lot. Ugh, Piero's gonna have such a hell of a time, that was a car though. Hell of a time making this, this is like impossible at this point. <laughs> that was dash in um, low parry, which was brave, but Yakun. The fall speeds barely vary. It's mostly the um it's not really fall speed that varies, it's width during fall. Although there are some characters who hit the ground faster than others. That's nice. It's a twin combo. I don't think that works on everyone. I think it works on most characters or some variation of it. Q's command grab is actually really good, except for the part where you have to land it. It's probably the hardest command grab in the game to land. Pretty much the only setup is a parry. He could have gotten one there. What he got is alright. You you have to react to the fact that you're parrying something. Like, he didn't know if he was going to be parrying a jab or a close medium kick, which it was. And if he parried a jab, he couldn't get a command grab. That's the way things go in this game. That's going to hurt. This is going to do. This is going to do more damage than the taunt got him for health. But then again, uh, Yun loses his uh, super bar to do that. But then again, he gets half of it back just from doing a Ganagian combo. Ender. Oh, uh, not even Kuroda is safe from these. Kara palms? Or was he just... No, you might not need the Kara for Q. You might just need to walk in. I didn't consider that. Ooh, that was a sick punish. Yakun is nice. Yakun is a nice player. That's really cool. That might take some weird charging. If he lands a command grab, it's over. If he lands a super, it's over. Super just kills at this point. There it is. <laughs> Damn. That stings. Nuki. This is another matchup where... It's not like Chun-Li... Chun-Li's damage without super is pretty bad. So it's it's not like it it's Q basically gets his taunts up immediately. That was a fuck up. Q 
Q Super 2 is not so hard to land. Or, like, it's hard to land, but, like, punish situations just happen quite commonly in this game because of parries. Jump jab, what the fuck? All the options. I don't even understand why Kuroda does half the stuff he does, to be honest, even at the level I'm at. Like, Kuroda is just, like, triple what I am. To the point that what he does makes no sense. And yet, I, it works. That jump jab was weird as hell. I don't know what other option it beats that made it, like, the best possible thing he could have gone for. Nice. Very, very delayed super. Give someone a lot of time to commit to something. If you're still alive by the time you're supering, the super will probably work. Trying to use that spacing. That's the other thing. That's the actual... Oh, that was a kill combo. That was going to kill. Overhead dash punch, overhead dash punch. Or I think overhead dash punch, regular dash punch against Chun-Li. I don't remember. Or overhead dash punch, normal. That's quite a difficult combo. You don't see when you're supposed to do it. That's the thing that's really annoying. But, like, that's not a problem for, like, Kuroda. But, um... Um, Q is off the screen, so you can't like use his recovery state as like a ver as a an indicator, visual indicator. You got to use the height of the screen. Chun Li can't even hurt him that badly for here. I mean that's good, and that was a uh, good mix up. He could dizzy with the next attack. Oh, that was a fuck up. That was a fuck up. That's a shame. I want to see Kuroda do well, but like not like that. Mochi boss, Ricky Mario. I think, uh, if I recall correctly, Kuroda goes down in like two seconds to uh, boss Makoto. Or Mochi Makoto? Who the fuck? Whoever played Makoto. Boss normally play. I forget. I remember Boss and Momochi both play Yon and Makoto. And I remember at the time, like, they were playing characters. I forget. Mochi's a damn good player. Literally, um, this matchup looked unwinnable. Hold on, I want to watch this again. I've seen this before. This is a famous match. This looks straight up unwinnable. When Makoto's playing the matchup properly, it just it's just brutal. It feels like uh, Kuroda got a lot of successful reads in this matchup, and he still got his ass kicked. Like, he took the throw there. He's jumping a lot of the Karakusas. Oh my god. Oh my god. That super meaty is dead strong. <laughs> if you try and parry that too, uh, you could potentially get Karakusa if the entire stand strong whiffs. And she just does a Karakusa right after it. The thing is, cute. Like, stuff like that does no damage. And when Makoto lands a hit, it's just like, ouch. He's he's trying really hard to not get karakusa And Momo. Look at that! The jump up, the jump up parry, and then he cancels it to an overhead, and the overhead punishes the jump up. I don't even know what to make of that. Q's so big when he's jumping. That should have been canceled, but I don't know. He could have got a follow up there. He could have gotten a normal dash punch. Yeah, like Kuroda's trying so hard to not get Karakusid, and it's opening him up to a lot of air air attacks. Look at that! What the fuck? I can only... Pr I've never seen anyone do that before this match. Using an EX Palm. That's safe-ish if it's if the EX Palm works. If it's blocked, you're fucked. I think what he was doing was using the EX Palm and then just turning the butter for a super. And then if he saw the parry, he supered. This is Momochi Makoto. Momochi's a really good Makoto player. He's better at third strike than he is at Street Fighter 4. If you can believe that. 